hello and welcome to this exercise on probability. Uh, it is a GCSE high tier uh, question and therefore suitable for IGCSE um, high tier maths paper as well and, and also for 10th grade maths and for CXC mathematics curriculum in the Caribbean. Okay, we are told that uh, there are three different types of sandwiches. Uh, we've got um, egg sandwiches, cheese sandwiches, and hash sandwiches. So don't don't bother your head with find out what a hash sandwich is. So don't worry about that. And Erin takes at random two of these sandwiches. Okay, and it says work out the probability that she takes <coughs> two different types of sandwiches. So. The, the operative word here is different type of sandwiches. Now, what I've done here is to produce the, the question, maybe smaller. Um, I want to give myself enough room to work with it. Okay. And I, I've also produced um, a tree diagram. Now, the question does not ask for a tree diagram, but I've produced one here to help me explain what I'm doing. Besides, if, if you make a hash of this in exam, and, it, and you put the tree diagram, you might get the odd mark, uh, the odd mark for the tree diagram, provided your all your numbers are correct. You know, that, that's, those, that does help. Right now, the first thing to note here is that th there are two events here. The first event is picking the the first sandwich, and the second event is picking the uh, the other sandwich. So you got two events. So the first pick and the second pick. Okay. Now, I, I could pick uh, an egg sandwich with a probability of 4 over 11, or I could pick a cheese sandwich with a probability of 5 over 11, or I could pick uh, a cheese, sorry, or I could pick a hash sandwich with a probability of uh, 2 over 11 there. And that's what it got there. So that's the first event completed now. Now, the question does say, um, what work out the probability that she takes two different types of sandwiches there? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work out the probability of picking uh, of the two sandwiches being of the same type. Okay? And then subtract from one to give the probability that she takes two different types of sandwiches. Anyway, you see what I mean when I, when I get there. Right. Now, the probability of picking an egg and an egg sandwich is going to be 3 over 10 times 4 over 11. And that's what it got there. 4 over 11 times 3 over 10. So that's equal to 12 over 110, 110. The probability of picking a cheese sandwich and a cheese sandwich is going to be 5 over, five over 11 times 4 over 10. Because having picked the first cheese sandwich, there will be only 4 cheese sandwiches left. And on the shelf, there will be only 10 sandwiches left. Now, the same thing applies to the egg and egg there. Okay, so the probability of picking a cheese and a cheese sandwich is going to be 5 over 11 times 4 over 10, and that will give us 20 over 110. Now, for the hash sandwich, the probability of picking a hash sandwich the first time round and a hash sandwich. The second time around is going to be 2 over 11 times 1 over 10. And that will give us 2 over 110 there. Now, all these three give us the probability of picking two sandwiches all of the same type. So if you add 12 and 20, 32, 36 there, sorry, 32, 34, 34 there. So the probability of picking uh, two sandwiches of the same type 
is going to be 34 over 110 which then follows that the probability of taking two sandwiches of different type is going to be 1 minus 34 over 1 sorry 1 minus 34 over 110 and that will be 76 over 110 or oh, we could do this the hard way we could do well we could pick an egg sandwich and a cheese sandwich and the probability of picking a cheese sandwich will be in this case will be 5 over 10 because we've still got 5 cheese sandwiches left and only 10 sandwiches on the shelf and when you multiply 4 over 11 times 5 over 10 you get 20 over 110 or you could pick an egg sandwich and a hash, hash sandwich and the probability of picking both will be 4 over 11 times 2 over 10. Don't forget, we still got two sandwiches left, two hash sandwiches left. And that will give us a probability of 8 over 110. Or we could pick a cheese sandwich and an egg sandwich. And the probability of picking a cheese sandwich and an egg sandwich is going to be 5 over 11 times 4 over 10 that will give us 20 over 110 or we could pick a cheese sandwich and a hash sandwich and the probability of that is going to be 5 over 11 times 2 over 10 and the answer is 10 over 110 or could pick a hash sandwich and an egg sandwich and the probability of that is going to be 2 over 11 times 4 over 10 and that will give us 8 over 110 or we could do a hash sandwich and a cheese sandwich and the probability of doing that is going to be 2 over 11 times 5, 5 over 10 that will give us 10 over 110 now if you add all those yes add 20 and 8 and 20 and 10 and 8 and 10 you should get 76 over 110 that tallies with this method as well so you have two methods here and uh, i think this is the easy this one the first one is the easier method so exactly up to you entirely up to you what you do now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye now.